dark wood and these door are now hung by the uh, clothesline this uh, clothesline go into this uh, knob where the the uh, handle was mounted before I removed them and passed the clothesline to them. I separate them to space where I can walk in between without getting myself caught. And I decide to paint one every other panel so if I get in between I don't have to worry about making a mess of myself. As you can see I set up a good setup light down in the basement. And uh, there's some uh, spotlight here to uh, for the tool I'm using. I am going to use the uh, car spray gun, and uh, this car spray gun because the prime is a little bit thick. I have to remove the filter inside the gun. This little plastic strainer filter that inside the gun is in here, so I'm, I remove that to allow the paint to pass through and every time I paint, finish painting, I have to uh, take it all apart, the needle and everything, clean up and put it in, let it dry before I can use it again. This is the primer, primer that I use for the door and this is the paint, Benjamin Moore Advanced. Uh, for interior paint and I'm using this sandpaper 400 grit as a final uh, roughing it up smoothing it out not roughing it up smoothing it out before final coat of paint pack log Hello viewer, I had just repainted the cabinet and the cabinet which used to be brown. I have the video for that so check that out. Uh, the cabinet brown, the edge was brown so I removed the edge using the hot iron. Basically peel it off with heat it and then peel it off. Once it's off, the edge is exposed, bought a new tape, white color and this video is going to show you how to apply that so that it will look like this. So if you like the video click like and subscribe to see more DIY. The heated iron on top of it to activate the, the adhesive and it will stick. Yeah. The heat, hold it for a few seconds. Baking sheet, you just um, apply this so that you don't damage the strip. Yeah, you put the iron on for a few seconds. Four or five seconds. That's it, just like that. Then move this up a little bit. 
down the path here and make sure they're perfect alignment. Put the paper on. Okay, hot iron again, apply for a few seconds. It's very simple, you certainly do yourself, and to remove the strip. So at the edge of this tape here, just uh, with overlap, you take the knife and you track along the side here, so that you get the perfectly cut next to this board. Do the same thing at the bottom, trying to find where that edge is. Basically, I cut, this, this tape is slightly wider than the board, so cut it down to the right width, do I trim it, and then find where the line is, and then take the knife and score, sl gently score slowly right through it so you make a nice straight cut. When you have it score, you can bend it back and rip it off, and then trim off if any excessive. This is your perfect fit right here. And I'm gonna put the oil on top of that, and that will be done. It really bonds well, and uh, when it touch it, it should be nice and warm to touch. Then I know it's bonded well. Do it again here because it's not very hot. Yeah. Okay. That done. Now I'll take this nine. And just trim along the bottom of the edge. Just kind of push it in. So, and as you push it in, you push it a little bit to the direction where you want to trim. Bring your finger on the bottom here. Make sure. Make sure that you flush it. It doesn't get hooked on anything. 